So in today's adventure, we're gonna take a virtual tour from the Asok BTS SkyTrain Terminal 21. And we're going to take a water taxi all the way from the Asok Pier all the way to Pratnam Pier. And then you can jump on the Skywalk. You're gonna learn how to do this on your own. You're gonna love this. So hang with me for a bit. So Bangkok water taxis are fun, inexpensive, and the most authentic way to see Bangkok. So if you're not staying near Asso Station, you can take the SkyTrain. And boy, is it fun. Don't be afraid of it. It's very easy. Enjoy it. You'll have no trouble. So I'm in the Skywalk right above Sukhumvit Road over near Asso Station. And today we're gonna to take the uh, water taxi, the canal boat from Asso Pier. And uh, this is gonna be quite an adventure, something I always wanted to learn to do many years before I moved to Bangkok, but now I do it regularly. I think you're gonna enjoy this adventure and uh, stay with me, it'll be a lot of fun. So that would be the way you'd go if you wanted to go to Terminal 21. And right here would be the way you'd go if you want to go down to the MRT and the subway. But today, we're going to go down to the street level and we're going to walk along this road. We're going to walk to Asso Pier where we're going to catch the canal boat, the water taxi. And we're going to explore Bangkok from the water, which in my opinion is the most authentic way to do it. You're gonna have a good time. Hang out with me for a while. You will like this. So today we're gonna to go from Asok Pier to Pratnam Pier. And next week I'm gonna do another video that'll take us from Pratnam Pier to the Golden Mount. So now's a good time to like and subscribe. So I won't torture you with every little thing we see along the way. For those of you who enjoy the soy cowboy, the famous soy cowboy is over there. Uh, many people come to Bangkok just for that. Uh, and not one of my things, but uh, many people like it. So, they get traction. So we're still walking along the way to uh, the asphalt pier. Right here, you can actually enter the MRT, which is the subway. The Sukhumvit station is right here. Uh, and you can actually do it where we just were over at the uh, Sky Bridge as well. But a lot of people like this area of Bangkok. They're very busy. Uh, many high-end condos. Terminal 21 shopping is here. So for many people, this is a, a destination when they arrive. As you can see, many expats hanging out here, having a coffee. But a lot of people stay here for weeks and years, and they never actually figure out how to use the water taxi, which is really a joy. And we're going to learn more about that today. So uh, hang with me for a bit. We're almost there. So this is the view of Asso Pier. And this is where you're gonna board the water taxi and there's one as we speak right now. And we're just gonna cross over this bridge in a second and then go down to the pier. So once you get to this bridge, which is going over the canal, you can actually see the canal right there there's a canal boat and we're gonna go down in a minute and get right on a boat and head towards Pratnam Pier and I'll show you the sights along the way this is the most exciting authentic way to see Bangkok so a couple things you should know about the Bangkok water taxis these are not designed to be tourist attractions in fact they're Thai transportation 
for Thai people. So you got to go into that knowing that the English is almost barely there. And, you know, this is a real transportation method, not a tourist thing. Okay, we have officially arrived at Aso Pier. So getting back to how to use the water taxis, again, these are not designed to be tourist uh, attractions or, or for tourists, but you're welcome to use them. I use them. Many people use them. In my opinion, it's the most authentic way to see Bangkok. In addition to that, it's actually faster than a taxi and definitely much more fun. Uh, there's no traffic. Uh, it's gonna get you from point A to point B very quickly. In fact, you should note that when you want to board a boat, the boat stops just for seconds, sometimes eight seconds. And you got to get on it quick, like I'm doing right now. So you just get on the boat and someone will find you in order for you to pay. You know, you're going to have to pay the man or the woman who's collecting the money. The fee will be between 14 and 22 baht, which is less than $1. You should actually have small Thai change or a small Thai currency to give the guy. If you have 20 baht in a, or, or 30 baht, you know, you'll be just fine. So, and you need to know where you're going because you're going to have to tell him. He's going to ask you where you're going. And, you know, you should tell him what stop you're going to and then just hold out the money and he'll take what he needs. And don't worry about anybody being dishonest. You'll never have that problem here in Thailand. So after you pay him your fee to ride the boat, he's gonna give you a ticket. Hold on to that ticket to show that you paid. And it also mentions where you're gonna get off in case you forget and you need help to ask him which stop is which. So you'll see plastic uh, splash guards on each side where the windows would be and that's designed to keep the water from splashing you in the face as they pass by other boats going the other way. Uh, these canals aren't known to be the most cleanest in the world and you don't want to have that water splash you in the face or your eyes. If you hear a little whistle as you're going, that means someone pressed the button on the roof notifying the person to stop at the, at the next stop because the person wants to get off. In fact, if you don't push that button and no one else pushes that button, that means they're not gonna stop. They'll just go right by the next stop if there's no one waiting. So you need to know that when you wanna get off the next stop, push the button. Otherwise, you might just go right on by that. So for today's adventure, we're just going from Asso Pier to Pratnam Pier. And if you want to go beyond Pratnam Pier, which is also very exciting, and I'm going to have another video doing that, you have to actually get off the boat and transfer to another boat to keep on going. We'll talk more about that later. So don't confuse the water taxi with are on today with the Chow Praia River boat or hiring your own canal boat, which will give you a private tour. I mean, here today you're experiencing real Thai taxi, water taxi, that co that's costing you less than a dollar. If you want to do a Chow Praia riverboat tour or a uh, private canal boat tour, that'll cost you, you know, significantly more than a dollar and give you a different experience, which I suggest you also do. But if you want to experience the real Thailand, uh, this particular water taxi is really something you should do. This is Nana Poa. So we're gonna end today's water taxi adventure at Pratnam Pier uh, in, in, in a ways from now, so don't worry about that. But when we end it at Pratnam Pier, that's where you can jump on to the Skywalk and explore the whole Ratchaprasang Arwalk and the whole shopping area of Central World and 
uh, Gaythorn Plaza and Pratnam Market. I did an entire video how to explore the Skywalk. I highly recommend you watch that video and check it out. It'll definitely make your adventure a lot better. There's no more authentic way to see Bangkok than a water taxi. If you look to the right, you'll see temples as you go by, and you'll see real life, you'll see the way people really live, you'll see the backside of their buildings instead of the front, you'll meet nice, friendly Thai people. This is the way to go. So when the boat is crowded, you'll see these brave Thai ticket collectors climbing on the side of the boat exchanging money and giving out tickets while the boat is going through the canal. Really brave. So if you happen to miss your stop because you just went right by it, don't worry about it. You just get off the next stop and you just go back to where you missed it. Or you get off the next stop and explore that area. It's no big deal. Everything's relatively close. But let me tell you something really special about this particular uh, water taxi. These men and women who work on these water taxis are actually quite friendly and quite nice. You can't count on this, but they happen to know that most of us who are foreigners don't really know what we're doing. And they know that when you get on, you need a little extra guidance. So more times than not, they always usually come over and tap me when it's my turn to get off. So if you're looking for some other Bangkok adventures to do, you should probably take a look at my Bangkok 15 must do things. Uh, it'll definitely enhance your Bangkok experience. And then if you're looking for a great Thai beach to go to, you might want to consider my Koh Samet video or my Rele Beach Krabby videos and uh, guaranteed to enhance your experience in Thailand. So hang out with me for a bit and stay with me because when we get to Pratnam Pier, I'm going to take you up on the Ratchaprasong Arwalk or also known as the Skywalk. And from there, you can go all kinds of places. You can walk to Central World Shopping. You can go to Pratnam Market, world famous Pratnam Market. You can go to Gaysorn Mall. You can just walk the Skywalk all the way up to the SkyTrain and get on Chitlom Station. Uh, there's just tons of things to do, uh, and this particular water taxi takes you right to the Skywalk, which makes it all the more unique. So at Pratnam Pier, when we arrive, if you don't want to go up to the Skywalk, you can just transfer to another boat and keep going in this same direction. You can get off at the Jim Thompson House, which I highly recommend while you're in Bangkok. Check out the Jim Thompson House. You can also go all the way to Wat Saket Golden Mount, another adventure. I highly recommend you do that. Uh, but I'm going to show you in a second if you want to keep on going on the water taxi, you can go to these other stops. And uh, that's definitely something that I'm going to plan for the next video. So in just a moment, we're going to arrive at the Pratnam Pier. This is a very exciting stop. Everyone will get out of the boat at Pratnam Pier. And if you want to continue on, like I said earlier, you can get into another boat and keep going, or you can go up to the Skywalk.
And if you want to cross over to the other side of the street, you should know about this secret tunnel, which will take you directly to the skywalk, which I made a great video on. But this tunnel is the secret without having to cross through traffic. Okay, so we're gonna walk up these stairs and then when we do, we're gonna be right here on the skywalk. So right above us is the Skywalk, and this is the easiest way to get to the Skywalk. We're now at Pratnam, right next to the Fashion Mall, and if you take the Skywalk, you can go right into Central World, or you can cut over to Gaysorn, or you can walk directly right to Chitlom Station or Siam. I mean, it's just fantastic, you know, a little secret to know how to use these water taxis. Uh, costly all of 12 baht, so much less than a dollar in an uh, authentic way to see Bangkok. So just climbed up the stairs and now on the uh, skywalk and uh, overlooking the San Sep Canal. This canal is built almost over 200 years ago. It's the longest canal in all of Thailand and has an amazing history and also the same canal we just got out of on the uh, water taxi so uh, hope you enjoyed that if you want to continue you can walk on the skywalk all the way uh, to shopping at central world and Gaysorn plaza and then you can connect to the sky train over at chitlam station or even walk to siam so what a extraordinary journey this could be so if this video has helped you in any way enhance your bangkok adventure i hope you help me and others by giving this video a like and subscribe. That would really, really help me and I'd really appreciate that. Thanks so much for joining me today.